everyone, it's Starby from Blue Television Games, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Master Sword in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In order to do this, we're going to need 13 heart containers. One place you can get heart containers is in Kakariko Village. Once there, you'll find this statue and you can exchange spirit orbs for either more stamina or what we need, heart containers. It takes four spirit orbs to get one heart container, and you're going to need 13 total. Once you have your heart containers, we're going to head up to Korok Forest. I've already unlocked this location, but I'm going to show you how to get there through the Lost Woods. This is located slightly north of Woodland Stable and Woodland Tower. Once we arrive at Woodland Tower, let's scroll slightly north on our map and mark this path where it ends right at the Lost Woods. This is where we're going to want to head in order to reach the Master Sword. Now that we have our marker, we'll just head straight for it. We'll drift down here and just keep heading on north towards your marker. We'll go ahead and drop down here, take out this guy, and keep pushing on. Once you get to this little archway, we'll have the Lost Woods. Don't just mindlessly run through the woods, because if you do, it will spit you back out at the beginning. There's actually a trick to getting through the Lost Woods, and I'll show you that now. The first thing you want to do is look around for a torch. Once you find a torch, we're going to approach it. Pay attention to how the light flickers. It actually shows you what direction to go. You can see the light just kind of flickering in this direction, leading us to this next torch. We're going to go ahead and pull out a torch because our own torch will help us as well if we stand still. These first few are pretty easy because you're pretty much just going torch to torch through the Lost Woods. We'll head up here to this next torch and we notice it flickers off to the left. So we'll turn to the left and there we go, another torch. Flickers off to the right a little. And here it gets a little tricky. Take your time because you don't want to get spit out back towards the beginning. Once you see another torch, you can pretty much safely head towards it. Don't be afraid to stop and use your own torch. There's one located here you'll definitely need if you don't have one. After these two torches, there's no more in the Lost Woods. Now we need to keep stopping and following our own light flickers. When you run, they'll start to go behind you. Ignore that. If you need to know what direction to go, just take a pause and look at the way it flickers. So we will just keep doing this over and over again. We'll stop multiple times because we do not want to have to redo this. And it's actually a lot easier than it might sound. Just don't be afraid to stop as many times as you need to and keep following the way the light flickers. As we work our way through here, if you keep an eye on the map, you can start to see where the forest opens up. That's how you know you're going the right way. Once you see the little opening in the land here, we'll just keep heading straight. It gets pretty easy. It pretty much leads you straight through this little cave type area. And here we are, Kokorok Forest. If you keep heading straight here, you'll soon see the Master Sword. If you have all 13 hearts, you can push and hold A here. Notice it'll drain all the hearts slowly. If you don't have enough hearts, you will not be able to pull out the sword. But if you have all 13, the Master Sword is now yours. Awesome. The Master Sword is a really unique weapon. It doesn't break, but it does require a recharge every so often. And you have to wait for 10 minutes to use it again. This video helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.